Well, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're having a good day. I'm getting ready to put another video together here. I just put one up bringing you uh, that bilipid membrane, the more of it's uncovered. Um, the Earth is biological, whether even volcanic is melted biology, and I will get into that in a minute. A lot of people have been asking, well, what is, what is volcanoes and all that? I'll show you something here in a minute. This here is connective tissue. It, whether it be epimesium, paramecium, or endomesium, it's connective tissue. This is muscle here. See this membrane right here on this side? That's why I've been showing you that the sides. They have identical, identical pattern repeated over and over and over and over again. I've brought hours of this on this huge muscle I'm on. This membrane gives it away though, more than anything, because they all have that bilipid membrane on the sides. I'll show you a little more here. See all this muscle in here? See all this red? That's muscle, okay? This is all muscle. It's not lava. This did not happen underneath the ocean. There is no working model on the planet for any of this, period, in volcanism. You will not find any lava flows, and yet nothing volcanic anywhere leaving these patterns behind, period. This was a one-time deal. This has to do with biology, okay? That's why you see this membrane running through here, and this is flesh. Another membrane over here. This is connective tissue that's in muscle, okay? And I'm going to be bringing you more of this. I mean, all this out here, this really thick stuff, this is coagulated blood on top of this. This is not volcanic, okay, where I live here on the Oregon coast. So I want to show you something else real quick. Okay, this is biological. This is abrupt transition, wrinkle zone. These are either tendon or muscle fibers, and I'll get into it and show you the difference in a minute. This is north of me in Oregon and also southwest or southeastern Washington. On top of this is what they call, or they, they call this pillow basalt, okay? They believe this happens underneath the oceans, and the oceans, after a major flood, and then the oceans drain, and then we have uh, glaciers that come through and wipe it off, and this is what's left behind, and this all happens underneath the surface of the earth, or we can't see it. And I'm saying, bull. <laughs> Absolute, that is a crock of crap. Uh, let me show you something with these right here. And when you get up close to them, look at on the pattern on these. See this? See these section lines, and they're all spaced identical distance apart? Look at this. And then they're hexagonal. That did not happen just from underneath the surface of the earth. That is the biggest lie that they've believed. It's not provable, for one thing, because you can't see it, like they say. But if you get in here and take a look at this, this is absolutely fascinating, these lines. See them? Now, they don't all have it because it's, this is, uh, it can be muscle or it can be tendon. I'll get into that and show you that in just a minute here. Here they are even closer. Look at, how clo look at how they're perfectly spaced distance. See that? Plus the hexagonal pattern. They believe these are, you know, these are called basalt columns that happen underneath this. They say they happen underneath the surface of the earth. Uh, no, they don't. For one thing, you can't prove it because, like you said, it happens underneath the surface of the earth. But uh, I'm going to show you what these actually are. I want to show you more of it here. That on top is what they call pillow basalt. Okay? And that is not either what that is. That is part of this abrupt transition of this tendon and muscle that comes up and then transitions and then there's something else on top of it, which it's all gone and deteriorated, and that's what we're, they're walking on here. Most of what you're seeing is gone. There's more gone than there is in front of us, and you'd be walking on it if you were there. What these are is layers of biology transition into the next layer to the next layer and, and on, so on and so forth. But I'm going to show you what they are. Okay, you can find it in muscle or you can find it in tendon, tendon. And, and in muscle it, it's usually the uh, sarcomeres or whatever, but like right here they've got it colorized, this is tendon fibrils. You see those lines on those fibrils, you see the lines running this way across these, they're all section, perfect distance apart. That I believe is what we got going on. Uh, you also have it in muscle and I will show you, I'm trying to find some here that show up a little better. Okay, there you can kind of see the lines a little better. If you look real close, I'll leave a link to this. You guys can come up and look at this. See the lines right in here going across that way on these fibrils, these collagen tendon fibrils? I believe that's what we see in that video. Now let me try to find some in muscle. Uh, see, muscle's got it going this way too, but this is a heart muscle, so it's going to be different because there's so many different types of muscle. Okay? Here you also have it coming across this way on, on this, but I believe that's heart muscle too, the way it looks to me. No, that's a finger muscle. It's a primate finger muscle. <laughs> I was wrong too. Okay, you see the lines run across this way. This is a bundle on here though. So if you were to open this up, each one of these fibrils would be one of those 
basalt columnars and they'd have lines running across them. Does that make sense? Okay, these are collagen bundles which actually are collagens and everything. Our bodies are made of more collagen than anything else, type 1, type 2, and type 3. But you can see the lines running across this way. You can see these actually snapped right here. But you can see the lines across that I was showing you in that uh, those basalt columnars. Let me try to find some muscle. Okay, here's muscle. Now, I can't even get close enough, but I'll leave a link. If you come up here, you'll see it's got sarcomere lines going across the, each one of these fibrils also, okay? I'll leave a link, and you guys can come up here and check this stuff out for yourselves. Um, yeah, you can see them right in here. So that could be, uh, it could be, it looks like more like muscle than anything, because these look more like what's going on up there. In fact, some of these look identical right in there to what's going on up there. I just showed you up north of me in Washington. I don't know if this would come in close enough. But you can come up here, you guys, yourself, and you'll see like this one here, and they stick, it sticks out really well. So I believe what we have going on is muscle up there. All right, I'm going to get to my video. In my video, I've got connective tissue. Now, hold on a minute. Okay, everybody's always asking, well, what, what's law of volcanoes? It's, 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 it's liquid biology. And let me tell you what I mean. Granite or tap rock or things like that, which are a lot of you'll find in our mountain ranges. Uh, the granite, like in uh, Yosemite, the mountain ranges are granite. This is granite. They're melting it and it turns to obsidian. So before, it, it's granite like our mountains are with a volcano. It's melting, the, it's melting the granite in them, spews out, and sometimes we end up with uh, obsidian or there uh, might be cooling in like with the olivine, things like that. But it's liquid biology. At first it was something else like this, granite, and then they're melting it, and I'll show you, it turns into obsidian. We have granite mountains here in the Cascades, and I, can, I have obsidian flow, flows that I've been on before. So now I know exactly what it is. It was granite before it got super hot and was turned to obsidian. Look at how it melted it and turned it to obsidian, like glass. So now you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's a liquid biology is what's going on with volcanoes. They're melting it right here, and he's going to, uh, he's going to pull obsidian off it as it cools really fast. See? It, oops, I couldn't pause it. There, there's more. There, see, it's pulling, it's making obsidian. Isn't that cool? So now you know liquid biology is what it is. All right, let's get to my video, which is connective tissue in muscle. Okay. Sorry, the name of that video is uh, Frenzel Lens Melting Granite, 2300 degrees, making obsidian. That's the name of this video. So, there's what your liquid biology, that's what we're getting out of volcanoes. I wish you had some better pictures, it's hard to do, but I have connective tissue, which is epimesium, paramecium, endomesium, the three types of connective tissue. The main muscle itself, then you got the individual uh, bundles inside, and then you got the fibers themselves. And the fibers themselves would be the endomesium. So anyway, uh, I'm not sure which I have, because some are huge, some are smaller, but they all have the same identical patterns, you know, as far as the membrane on the outside. And there's so many different types of muscle with connective tissue, that, I mean, I could go on all day here. Oopsie, oopsie, sorry about that. But there's so many different types of, of muscle that, uh, you know, you just have to come up here and take a look yourselves. So, uh, that's basically what I have going on is the three types of connective tissue in a muscle because, like I told you, it's never, this, is ne this is, has nothing to do with volcanism whatsoever. All right, beautiful day back down here at the coast. And eh, walking this log here, got connected tissue right below us. More flesh there, and another piece of connective tissue. The log's sitting on. It runs right down through there, and then more flesh. And we're gonna go over here and pick up where we left off, and work our way on around that head wall. Okay, I'm back in here, about where I left off. Uh, last time I was down here, this piece of connective tissue here, I'm standing on, I'm actually standing on, standing on coagulated blood. See, this is all just real bubbly and real thick and dense in here. This is blood spray. I'm not kidding, it really is. I figured that much out. This, when it's real thick like this, some real chunky stuff you see in there, big piles of it, it's just spray from blood. Because this thing hemorrhaged really bad. It's ripped open the whole coastline. That's what's going on. The whole North American coastline is this creature that's ripped open. That's why we got the huge bluffs and corrupt, 
of stuff around me but that's what this all is and then you got connective tissue here running through it so we're standing on muscle and then this massive and this has more of that triangular hexagonal square pattern that pattern there i've showed you on some of that bigger one there you go and of course it's got that membrane around it all right we're gonna try to get over there water's really deep so far though i need to get out on there so i don't know if i'm gonna have to go back up and around but it's quite a piece of connective tissue in here and muscle muscle connective tissue muscle connective tissue muscle and this is not volcanic intrusions got that outer edge like I show you on all of them pretty much all of them more spray see see how thick it gets that's just massive blood hemorrhaging and connective tissue going right through it it's on a scale you can't even begin to imagine you know and you know something else you know you gotta i have to take i take into consideration when i'm looking at all this stuff is erosion there's massive erosion going on with the water all the time spraying so a lot of things get eroded and they don't look the same the right next year all this stuff always looks the same because look at this this is all blood spray i'm not kidding this is not volcanic in any way whatsoever and all these mountains around here with the timber on it that's the rest of the creature okay it just transitions from this part where it's ripped open and the rest is the creatures like that mountain there you know it transitions down into this so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get around this way or not we're still on massive blood spray look at that ah another piece of connective tissue imagine that we're on flesh see that connective tissue right there there it is and there's oh there's that membrane i don't want to fall down there in that water there's that membrane part that's stuck to the edge right there there's the outer edge of it right here on this one see that that one of that piece i'm always showing you i call it the crackly part <laughs> And then there's some of it stuck to the side of this yet. The rest is all peeled off. But that would be the inside of the outer of that membrane where it comes up against this piece. Oh, more of it stuck down there. There's more of that membrane right there. Okay, I don't like this right here. It's straight down to the water. So I'm gonna get back up here. There's that membrane. Here's some of it here. See it stuck to this? The rest is rotted off. Okay, I'm gonna try to get across there without falling in. Some other people made it. All right. And there's more membrane we're gonna come into down here. I know this stuff's slicker than snot. I don't wanna fall in. At least not when the tide's in. <laughs> there's more membrane right there. I'll try to get down there on it. Do not fall in. Yay! Ah! Okay. This is a membrane. That's tissue or muscle. And that's this is muscle right here beside us. You can see how it goes right down there. walking right on it and it goes right up underneath goes into transitions into a, what we call mountains <laughs> and they don't understand mountains either they don't understand how they're formed it's it's not what they think it is not from plate scrubbing the top layer off of one plate and leaving all the top surface of the land behind that's not what's going going on 
Boy, look at that down in there. Well, this is something else. And I gotta try to get down in there without killing myself. Which I'm gonna work on her. All right.